upthrust is an upward force that acts on objects submerged in a liquid. So here we have a boat that will float on the water's surface and it is partially submerged. The boat's weight is pulling it down, but because the water isn't solid, there's no reaction force. Instead, upthrust keeps the boat afloat. Now, upthrust is experienced by both partially and fully submerged objects. So what causes this upthrust and what exactly does it have to do with fluid pressure? Well, the top and bottom of a submerged object are at different depths in a liquid. For example, consider some ice submerged in water. The water just above the ice is higher up than the water that sits below the ice. But what does this tell us about the pressure at these two points? Well, this means the pressure below the object is greater than the pressure above. Remember that pressure is a force spread out over a surface and that pressure changes with depth. This is because the weight from the water above increases with depth as the particles push against the object. Therefore, the water exerts a greater pressure from below and there is more force from the bottom as the water below the ice is deeper. So what do we call the resultant of these pressure forces? Well, the upthrust force is a result of this pressure difference. The resultant upthrust force is the difference between the vertical forces resulting from pressure. This force only acts upwards, opposite to weight, and this is because the horizontal forces are equal and opposite. In an exam, you may be asked to explain how pressure differences will cause a submerged object to experience upthrust. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.